There's definitely a problem in, in the state of Illinois with budgets. We have 860 plus school districts and in technology we all have the same kinds of needs. We can't keep doing this separately. Places like Bloomington and Champaign could because they had that kind of money, but the little ones were never going to be able to keep up the Joneses and it wasn't right. Whatever we can do to save money for schools is extremely important. We need to start thinking about how we can provide resources for schools and provide equity across the state. Virtualization was a big key. Multi-tenancy, security, and storage options have all come along at the right time to enable a co-op like the Illini Cloud to exist. What we're trying to do is leverage the various resources in the state without recreating the wheel. And that's what I think a real community cloud does. If you think about the Illini Cloud, it's the whole state of Illinois. There's about 20 data centers throughout the state, but we started with three based on their geographic locations. The first is up in DeKalb. There's one here in Bloomington, and then we have another one down in Belleville. We chose those because they're at least 120 miles apart, and that's really important when you're talking about disaster recovery. Most of these school districts are connected on a common network, which we call the Illinois Century Network, or ICN. The data never leaves the ICN network. It also provides unlimited bandwidth between these data centers so that we can start providing services to these school districts. We're hosting infrastructure as a service, software as a service, and disaster recovery. Each one of those replicated throughout the data centers and throughout the state. School districts had to buy a lot of infrastructure and server capacity that they'd never use. What we do is you buy what you need. We don't charge you for the resources you're not going to need. One of the things that we were able to do was leverage CDW because they have a very deep subject matter expert team. We have some very specific needs and they were able to take their expertise and apply an architecture that met our goals. CDW to understand is that this is about providing public infrastructure. They brought together really good partners and their experience with different kinds of technologies that we need. We relied upon CDW to bring those technologies, show us how they worked and actually put them in proof of concept. We didn't have a lot of funds, but they made it work for us. The original challenge was really just trying to get a grasp of all the technologies that could be used for the cloud, and then actually kind of going through each one and deciding whether the devices would actually suit or help their situation. The Illini Cloud actually came up to visit one of our hosted facilities to understand what they were getting into in terms of hosting and trying to have a data center that would be managed, possibly looking at what CDW could provide in terms of that management. We definitely leverage solution architects like Dan Vargas, especially in rapid and evolving areas of the cloud, such as networking and security. Integrating several manufacturers and technologies, leveraging relationships that we have, CDW can bring everyone together with a single point of contact. We didn't want to just come in and have one vendor provide the entire solution to us. CDW really helped us out with our vendor neutral standards based mentality. Well, Illini Cloud is using Big IP, Local Traffic Manager and Global Traffic Manager to maximize the availability and performance between users and their applications. They're also using our Access Policy Manager and Application Security Manager to maintain consistent network security. And then they're using Link Controller to ensure the availability of their outbound network connections between multiple internet service providers. One of the biggest challenges that we had was to provide failover and resiliency. Big IP allowed us to load balance all of our services, provide replication and redundancy. It's been a real big win for us. In the storage infrastructure, uh, Linux Cloud uses our ARX series of file virtualization devices to really simplify the management of heterogeneous and rapidly growing file storage environments. VMware is the bedrock of what we run virtualization-wise. The Cisco Unified Computing System forms the basis of all of our compute facilities. It was built from the ground up to be extremely scalable. There are multiple applications that all of the school districts use. The Illini Cloud has taken those resources and they're sharing them among districts. And we ask the school district, what are the areas that you need help with? There's a lot of demand in the state and we take the highest needs first. It helps us take some of those resources out of the school district and let us spend more time worrying about the educational technology rather than making sure that all these boxes are running. Now it's their problem. 
A lot of schools are seeing the difference in the Illini Cloud because they're having access to resources they didn't have access to before. Things like streaming video that they couldn't afford on their own. Instead of having their data on a server in their district that might cost them $10,000, they can have that data through the internet on somebody else's server at a much cheaper rate. Now they don't have to worry about the day-to-day -day mundane. Is the cooling right? Do I have enough capacity? If you're able to save them 50 or 60 percent in core infrastructure, that enables them to redirect that budgetary savings into the classroom. The Illini Cloud is something that a lot of, uh, I think, enterprise and, and even commercial space can use in concept because it pulls the best technologies and resiliency into an infrastructure and allows the quick adaptation of applications and testing. Illini Cloud is at the forefront of cloud computing because they need to provide enterprise quality IT services without an enterprise level IT budget. So that need is really what's driving their innovation.